Om Shanti, Namaste. Today is a very great day for all of us in Shanti Sarovar, Hyderabad, as well as very fortunate day for our Manmohini Divine Studio, where you are receiving all the episodes of different programs from this studio. So today, my dear viewers, we have a great fortune to have the joint administrative head of Brahma Kumaris, who is our very lovely, beloved, very sweet, respected, honorable Dr. Nirmala Didiji. I welcome Didiji on Divine Studio. Welcome Didi. Om Shanti. Om Shanti Didi. Greeting of peace. You all know my dear viewers, Didi ji is joint administrative head of Brahma Kumaris. Over 60 years of spiritual experience she has on this path and very humble, very sweet soul who is representing Brahma Kumaris in front of the world. She is a great blend of the balance of medical field as well as spirituality. Being a doctor by profession, she has dedicated her life over 60 years in Brahma Kumari's service, in the service of humanity, in the service of God. She is the regional coordinator, she is the regional director of Asia Pacific Centers, as well as she is the director of Gan Sarovar, Mount Abu also. And very fortunate being a professional doctor, she has the knowledge of spiritual science as well as medical science also. So, Didi, we want to know today uh, how meditation can help to heal any disease, how meditation can be uh, overpower medication also. Om Shanti, greeting of peace. Today we know <coughs> about 90 percent sicknesses are psychosomatic stress, tension, anxiety and all sorts of relationship problem etc. Yeah. So when person studies meditation, person is relaxed, no more tension, stress and the knowledge that we receive through Brahma Kumaris, we are able to understand what is happening in the life, the reason and we have solution. Yeah. So, meditation gives us power to face those situations and we are able to remain peaceful, happy, healthy, etc. Mm. Because I have known patients who when they are practicing meditation, they are able to heal fast. We had one youth who had accident in Canberra. Mm. He was cycling to go home and in darkness he did not see the black car mm. standing there. Okay. So, his push bike went over the car and fell down on the side. Mm. Unfortunately, a car passed on him and he had multiple fractures of pelvis. Mm. But with meditation as well as medicine, he was able to go home after four weeks. Fifth week, 
he was driving from canberra to sydney and sixth week he joined his work hmm. usually fracture takes 10 weeks hmm. to heal hmm. but he was able to walk in six weeks hmm. secondly what happens with meditation you go beyond body so bodily pain i have seen cancer patients after operation never complaining one of the senior patient next day of the operation when doctor came to see her she is asking doctor good morning doctor how are you today <laughs> yeah and doctor was very surprised to see how peaceful and cheerful she was mm. so many patients during operation before operation i have seen they are quite peaceful one of the patient of cancer in canberra first she checked with me should she go operation or help herself with meditation only mm. and i said no you must go through operation mm. so when she was going to operation theater the ward boy who was taking her on trolley says how come you are so peaceful yeah and from next day onwards her uh, relatives when they come to see her she was jovial chatting with them and never complaining mm. so meditation helps them to go through pain and they help to have a long life yeah yogis mm. blood pressure pulse rate respiration rate mm. usually remains stable mm. and they lead a long life mm. because many of the yogis i have seen in 80s 90s with good memory and good health so the thing is not only they help themselves but they are able to help others also even in hospital a patient will be serving doctors nurses and other fellow patients yeah so the thing is meditation helps a lot in our health but we tell to the, them to combine medicine and meditation om shanti didi it was a wonderful experience what you shared uh, both experiences are very wonderful how meditation helps uh, to heal the elements sicknesses of physical body as well as you said how we can keep our mind also healthy because mind plays a major role in healing the sickness also and uh, i personally feel that you are also a master of experience of meditation and that is how you are keeping your body also very healthy all the time and you are alert active and punctual all these qualities we see in you and we keep learning from you didi so it's a great pleasure to have you in our studio today and it's great learning for us also uh, and thank you very much thanks for your time and It was a pleasure thank you thank you didi so viewers uh, you have seen didi has shared about how meditation can help in healing the physical ailments so definitely i hope all of you will take up this subject as meditation in your day to day lives also which will help you a long way 
to remain healthy as well as Didi mentioned one another point that how we can increase our age also through meditation. So, our heartbeat and our pulse, our everything will remain normal. So, this is the uh, magic of meditation. So, my dear viewers, please take up this as challenge in your life as well as practice daily meditation. Thank you very much. In next episode, in Treasure of Experiences, we will bring another uh, personality, great personality and we will listen and learn through them. Thank you once again, Didi. Om Shanti.